Editing in Premiere Pro is tough, especially when you have to add and edit the same stuff over and over again, adding text, animations. We all know how time consuming it is. That's why I just released my new motion graphics pack, drag and drop, easy to use, seamless, right in the Premiere Pro. You can download it in the link in the description below. But if you've downloaded it, I'll show you now how to install them because it's really, really simple. You can stretch out the titles, the animations, I made it so it's as seamless for you to use as possible. But let's just jump into the Premiere Pro. So I've included Montserrat font in the downloads folder. The animation won't display correctly if you don't have this font. So I would highly encourage you to install this font beforehand. But once you've done it, now all you need to do is literally select all the files and drop them into the Essentials graphics. If you can't see the Essential graphics, all you need to do is go to Windows, and select essential graphics and the window will show up. Let's select all of these and let's put them right into this window. And as you can see, all the animations are here. And the best thing about it is when you hover over the animations, you will see roughly what the animation is about. So without no further ado, what you want to do is simply drag and drop onto the timeline. And that's pretty much it. You play it and it works. You can readjust the speed, and this is the most important. You can readjust the speed so you can make it as short as you want, uh, bearing in mind that most of the animations have one minute animation in front and at the end, so it would be best to leave the animations at least for three seconds. Um, there is one animation that I will show you right now that has a faster speed, and this is the quick caption text. So this is literally quick animation text it pops up in and out and it's basically designed so you can stack those up when you are editing and somebody's saying something for example so yeah it could be like this I'll probably make it a little bit longer because that was hard to read but essentially the most important if you want to change the text you go to this essential graphics tab and you change the text to anything you want and there we go Let's play this animation back again. And there you go, your text is now live. You can change anything. I wanted this animation preset pack to be as customizable as possible so you don't have to go back into the After Effects or you don't have to download any other packs. So you don't have to mess around with any effects controls and anything like that. But essentially, if you have a desired font that you wanna change, you click here and let's say you use uh, Poppins, this is a quite popular font as well. Poppins, maybe you want to make it slightly bigger and you want all the text to be in uh, capitals. So there you go, let's make it a little bit smaller. And I also want to decrease the glow intensity. I think this is a little bit too much, so maybe like 50 or 60% would be enough. And I also want to change the color. Um, my brand colors are something around here. So I don't want this to be white. I want this to be orange. So let's play it back. The animation is seamless. It comes in and it goes out. The only thing that doesn't stretch is this text transition. And the reason for that is it's supposed to be a transition and not an animation that goes in and out. So. If you want to change anything in this text transition, you simply go and type, for example, next. We change the font as well. Let's say to like a marker or something, uh, make it slightly bigger. And we also want to change the color. So maybe the text color, you want to have it maybe like black. Then the right rectangle, we want to keep it like neon green. Um, and that's how it goes. We can have a video underneath here um, going on. So let's say we want to have, a, you know, a background or something like that, and we want to change it. We basically go like this. Um, and yeah, that's how it goes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this preset pack. I use these on a daily basis, so I thought I would just turn all of the titles and all of the transitions into the actual graphics animations that you can use within the Premiere Pro. So I hope you like it and happy editing. Bye.